Alright, welcome back to Sea Encounters Light Cruises, it's Hannes here. And in today's episode we are going to see KSS Pepe by the Jimmer facing off against my ship. It's RP Eagle Mark II. Let's see how this battle is going to play out. So my ship is using a relatively low caliber 250 uh, guns with a inertia fuse frag and the Jimmer is using uh, I think it's a 500 millimeter sabot so totally different approaches to, uh, to ship construction uh, the Jimmer's craft is it really excels at uh, a relatively close range citadel hits but of course from time to time it can also uh, land a big shot from the distance uh, however uh, those guns uh, lack a little bit of accuracy uh, okay uh, so far so good looks like my craft is being able to land some minor dents for now just a half of a percent nothing big I think what it actually needs to do to be able to win the match is to disable the cannons pretty much the big ones because if these are on, uh, there's always a great chance of penetrating the, the side armor. And in case of Pepe, uh, it should not really uh, should not really have any trouble to for, to do that. My ship has a relatively low amount of armor on the side. Uh, we could see a good torpedo hit just uh, just a moment ago. Uh, let's have a quick look at my torpedo array. So it shoots torpedoes in a in a spread, and the further you go from the craft, the the wider the the gap basically gets. So this helps with landing a strike from longer distance. However, being being able to land the full volley from from up close. Uh, but it looks like Pepe is very, very wisely uh, moving slightly to the left and being able to dodge this volley and most likely the other one as well. So let's see how it's going to continue. Any damage to propulsion system? No. For the moment I thought that Pepe is, uh, got a little bit slow. Uh, some slight damage here and there one of the barrels is just a slightly blackened uh, so maybe maybe Eagle is going to be able to uh, cut it uh, of course uh, if it's going to be cut it would not have full power and the accuracy is going to be really really abysmal uh, all right for now um, already like uh, almost uh, fully 8% of damage on the on Pepe and my craft just uh, just a very minor and yeah just take a look at that uh, one one good hit and the front turret on Pepe is is gone uh, the engine does not doesn't seem that it it was damaged this time looks like it did survive uh, and yeah two of the three barrels there are also damaged so it means that it's pretty much got only one barrel left to do uh, a good damage but you know I think that it it might be just all it needs one good strike into the side of the armor and my ship is going to be pretty much gone. Uh, the second there is opened up. Both front and rear. These are using uh, the time frag. Pretty effective uh, even against craft that are sitting pretty low in the water. So yeah, looks like these are attacking the rear section. Uh, might be they might be actually trying to go for the ammo stores 
in the rear turret which actually is not such a bad idea because fully disabling those guns would mean that would mean that uh, Pepe pretty much wouldn't have anything to throw at Eagle. Uh, apart from the apart from the torpedo array, which yeah, I think it's is already gone as well. All right, so my craft is at almost 99%, and just to take a look at that, yeah, those guns just didn't have any power. Uh, it just ate a huge volley into the rear turret and the rear turret is history as well. I think along with the rear turret again, uh, the, the engines must have been damaged as well. So now this is a, this is a, a sitting duck pretty much, uh, sitting frog in this case. So let's see, uh, yeah, I think that torpedoes will now have totally no problem to to land uh, that torpedo actually might land on my own ship <laughs> let's see uh, and let's have a quick look at eagle uh, let's see if the propulsion is intact yeah looks like propulsion and actually and steering as well is without any issue so it should be able to start uh, turning around for another approach and now it's he's been able to bring his forward facing uh, turrets to to bear the downside of this uh, forward facing layout is that when it's moving away from the target uh, for a long time it's pretty pretty much not, a, not able to land the, the primary gun hits the rear guns they are quite okay they are quite fine but they have a limited range so there's not really uh, they they just can chip away but uh, at some point they, they will be just out of range so okay uh, looks like looks like uh, the, the eagle is trying to, to turn towards Pepe and potentially finish it off before the time runs, time runs out and yeah uh, Pepe is it's totally defenseless right now no torpedo air raids no guns so it means that it's just left at the fate of of Eagle and yeah looks like the guns have been reloaded on Eagle and it started to land some primary gun hits let's see if it's going to be successful in delivering those surprisingly the torpedoes have missed maybe something uh, disturbed the path of the torpedoes i'm not really sure the pattern doesn't look too right to me but never mind Ah, yeah, I know what it is. Most likely, this was because uh, uh, because Eagle was uh, had been really tilted a lot to one side when it turned, and I think those torpedoes pretty much bounced off the the bottom of the ocean. But this volley, it looks much much better. Some good hits here. and mantlet forward facing secondary have always uh, also been able to land something right even anterior guns are landing some small chips here and there but of course in this combat they have no real meaning uh, Pepe is pretty tough. It's a sturdy ship, so it's it's quite difficult to get uh, to get it despawned, to get a critical hit on it, uh, just because of the amount of armor it has. I would say maybe that the hull is slightly slightly bit 
to underprotected uh, in comparison to its turrets. Maybe the turrets have been uh, better protected. It would fare better in those fights, I think. All right, now the secondaries, uh, they are landing some good hits. The front and the rear ones are just pummeling down, and pummeling down. And torpedoes also, and yeah, uh, 55 below 55%, and we've got a despawn because of because of that. So not able to really penetrate the citadel. Uh, just the overall damage was big enough to dispatch Pepe. So condolences to the Jimmer. I hope that Pepe is going to showcase uh, its armament in the next matches with a better result. And uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Thank you.